Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the Catholic Book of Worship, which is a smaller book, number 482. 482, I has not seen. I has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. When pain and sorrow weigh us down, be near to us, O Lord. Forgive the weakness of our faith and bear us up within your peaceful world. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. Our lives are but a single breath. We flower and we fade. Yet all our days are in your hands. So we return in love what love has made. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Antonio Darci and the special intention for Darlene Wilson. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are happy to die on the cross to free us from our sin. Christ, have mercy. Now risen from the dead, you lead us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. On the day of the dedication of the temple, King Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of all the assembly of Israel and spread out his hands to heaven. He said, O Lord, God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth beneath, keeping covenant and steadfast love for your servants who walk before you with all their heart. But will God indeed dwell on earth? Even heaven and the highest heaven cannot contain you, much less this house that I have built. Regard your servant's prayer and his plea, O Lord my God, heeding the cry and the prayer that your servant prays to you today, that your eyes may be open night and day towards this house, the place of which you said, my name shall be there, and you may heed the prayer that your servant prays toward this place. Hear the plea of your servant of your people Israel when they pray towards this place. O oh, here in heaven, your dwelling place, 
heed and forgive. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, how lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul longs, indeed it faints, for the court of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young at your altars. O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Happy are those who live in your house, ever singing your praise. Behold our shield, O God. Look on the face of your anointed. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than live in the tents of wickedness. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Turn my heart to do your will. Teach me your law, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they purify themselves. And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups, pots, and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked Jesus, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? Jesus said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Then Jesus said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever speaks evil of father or mother must surely die. But you say that if anyone tells father or mother... Whatever support you might have had from me is Corbin, that is, an offering to God. Then you no longer permit doing anything for a father or mother, thus making void the word of God through your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many things like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. It shows that God continues to look at the heart. He's interested in the internal, not the external. The internal is what truly makes a person. It shapes their motives, their attitudes, their words, behaviors. The inner holiness of an individual is what leads them to be more and more Christ-like every single day. If I am motivated by the external, then I'm always looking over my shoulder. Who's watching? What's in it for me? How do I benefit from a particular situation? And that, that's exactly not what a Christian is to do. We're to do the right thing no matter if anyone's watching or if I'm by myself. Authentic Christian witness is what moves the heart of Jesus, not washing of hands, 
not saying one thing and doing another, which means being a hypocrite, but rather to live a lifestyle that is pleasing to God. Growing up, I was taught, if you are going to do or say something, make sure that it wouldn't matter who was in the room with you. And so for me, it was the Nona test. If I wouldn't say that in front of my grandmother, then I shouldn't be doing it. If I shouldn't do something in front of my grandmother, then I shouldn't be doing it. She was the moral test for me growing up. So it is being a Christian. Jesus is always in the room. He's much more important than Nona or whoever your moral test is. If I would be ashamed to hear Jesus say this, why would I say it? If I would be ashamed for the Lord to see me do something, why would I do it? Thereby, our behaviors are shaped by a love of God that we would never want to disappoint him by what we say and what we do. So let us ask God to help us to have a pure heart, to be inspired to change the internal, that we grow in holiness, not because of what others might think, but only interested in what God thinks. Out of love for God and one another, we bring our petitions to the Lord, trusting that he always has our best interest in mind. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may she continue to grow and flourish under the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for each of us that our focus may be on the internal, a true conversion of heart, so that by our words and actions we do things that are pleasing to God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For politicians, may the Lord strengthen their resolve in defending human life from conception until natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are sick, the elderly and the homebound. May Christ bring them comfort and companionship, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of faith here at St. Joseph, may God continue to strengthen our faith in God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the souls of the faithful departed. We remember especially Antonio, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died, especially those who are known only to God. May he soon welcome them into his loving embrace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts, Almighty Father, look kindly on the prayers and petitions of your servants, which we offer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus' mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servant Antonio and Alberto, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Friends, there is no daily Mass here in the church on Friday. I have Mass with the high school, and it has to be private because of the spacing. Uh, so Mass tomorrow and Thursday, not on Friday. You can watch the virtual Mass with the school. Thank you. I has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. To those who see with eyes of faith, the Lord is ever near. Reflected in the faces of all the poor and lonely of the world. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. We sing a mystery from the past in halls where saints have trod. Yet ever new the music rings to Jesus' living song of God. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. God bless you. Have a good day.